Wally, -E, stylized as Wall E, is an action adventure video game based on the 2008 movie of the same name. The game was published by THQ for multiple platforms. The game was released in North America on June 24, 2008, Europe on July 4, 2008, and Australia on September 4, 2008. The game was also released in Japan on December 11, 2008, although not available on the Xbox 360 or any PC. Wally -E received overall mixed reviews from critics. The game's best reviewed version was the PS2 version, which scored 67 out of 100 on the Metacritic scale. Though the PSP version was highly criticized, IGN praised the adaption as one of the most solid film to game adaptations we've seen in a while. Topic: Gameplay. The PlayStation 3, Wii, and Xbox 360 versions feature 9 explorable levels. The Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation Portable versions feature 18 levels, and the Nintendo DS features 14 explorable worlds. The Wii is the only version of the game that features three head-to-head -head multiplayer modes, while the Nintendo DS version features co-op modes playable as Wally or Eve. As the player plays through the levels of the Nintendo DS version, they unlock clips from the movie viewable at any time. The PlayStation 2, PSP and Windows versions allow the player to use music to summon reject bots throughout the game. The story mode seems to be altered as the character's roles are different from the movie such as Wally can commonly use his laser, Eve is tasered by Otto reference to Wally being tasered in the original, Wally repairing Eve in the original, Eve tries to repair Wally, and Wally survived from getting crushed by the hollow detector. The reversal of Eve and Wally being damaged was actually intended to occur in the movie, but was later changed. Topic. Plot In 2805, Earth is covered in garbage and abandoned, while people are evacuated by megacorporation by N large on giant starliners. BNL has left behind Wally robot trash compactors to clean up the mess but they all eventually stopped functioning, except one unit who has gained sentience. One day, Wally discovers a plant in a refrigerator and come across an unmanned spaceship that deploys an EVE probe to scan the planet for life, with little success. Wally is infatuated with EVE, who is initially hostile after she almost shoots him but immediately befriends him. As a sandstorm sweeps across the city Wally and Eve make their way through the storm, fighting a malfunctioning Wall A along the way. After reaching Wall E's truck, he shows her many of his things along with the plant. She suddenly takes the plant and goes into standby mode, leaving Wally wondering why she shut down and he leaves her on the truck's roof. The ship then returns to collect Eve, and Wally races towards it and hitches a ride as it returns to its mothership, the Starliner Axiom. While avoiding M.O., Wally follows the cart carrying Eve to Captain McRae's headquarters. McRae is excited by the discovery, as they can finally go home but is shocked to discover that the plant is gone. He believes Eve is broken and orders Otto to send her to a repair ward along with Wally for cleaning. Upon arriving at the repair ward, Wally believes the Eve is being hurt but is separated from her. Wally obtains Eve's plasma cannon and uses with to fight off security robots and free some of the malfunctioning robots to help him. He manages to find Eve just as she is finished with her checkup and takes back her plasma cannon. They then head to an escape pod to return to Earth, but Eve cannot abandon her directive. They are interrupted when Go4 arrives with the plant, placing it in the pod that Wally is in and sets to self-destruct. After it is jettisoned, Wally escapes with the plant as the pod explodes, using a fire extinguisher as a rocket booster that goes out of control. Eve follows him across space and through the ship until his fire extinguisher runs out of water. Eve retrieves the plant, puts Wally back in the Axiom, and heads to the captain's quarters. Captain McRae, now happy to see the plant, now realizes that they can return to Earth. However, Otto refuses to let this happen, revealing his own secret no-return directive that falsely claimed that the cleanup on Earth was unsuccessful. He mutinies and throws Eve and the plant down the garbage chute. Wally hears Eve and he follows her down the garbage chute, with M.O. still in pursuit. He finds the plant and Eve and they, along with M.O., head back up to the deck where they and the malfunctioning robots fight off the security robots. The captain fights Otto and manages to open the hollow detector chamber. 
Otto tilts the ship sideways and tries to close the chamber. Wally heads to the chamber and struggles to keep it open. Captain McRae manages to disable Otto and straighten the ship while Eve inserts the plant to activate the hyperjump, freeing a partly damaged Wally. Having arrived back on Earth, Eve repairs and reactivates Wally, but finds that his memory has been reset and his personality is gone. Heartbroken, Eve gives Wally a farewell kiss, which sparks his memory back to life and restores his original personality. Wally and Eve reunite as the humans and robots of the Axiom begin to restore Earth and its environment. Topic. Development Topic. Middle East release Publisher THQ, in collaboration with the Emirati company Pluto Games, released a localized edition of the game in the Middle East, making the game the first Western video game to be officially translated into Arabic. This was done as a strategy to appeal to the local gamers in their mother tongue, and commit to releasing more localized games in the region in future. The Arabic translated edition is available on the PlayStation 3, PSP, and Xbox 360, even though the game in general is still available on all other platforms DS, Mac, PC, PS2, and Wii. The Arabic translated edition was released on June 27, 2008. Reception The PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Wii versions of the game met with reviews ranging from average to poor. Reviewing the Xbox 360 version, IGN concluded that rather than buying the game, this may be an instance where you wait for the DVD, or go see the movie again instead. As of July 30, 2008, the game has sold over 1 million copies. It was nominated as one of the most surprisingly good game and best use of a creative license by GameSpot's Best of 2008 awards, but did not win either. <laughs>